Good morning, everybody. I am super excited to tell you where we are going on our vacation. I know I have hinted at it in a couple videos, I'm pretty sure, and I don't think um, I've completely spoiled the surprise yet, but I will tell you guys now where we are going for my 21st birthday is Disney World. Um, so <laughs> these ears look so funny. Um, so if you guys don't know, I am a Disney fanatic. I have been since I was a little kid. We used to go multiple, multiple times a year. Um, and we still obviously do. I have not gone since I've been on YouTube, I don't think. Um, but yeah, we are going to Walt Disney World for my 21st birthday. We are spending one day in all four parks. It's going to be super exciting. Um, and I'm going to share the whole experience with you. I'm going to try to vlog every day while we're there. Um, but we are trying to go to Star Wars, all of that stuff. And that does take a lot of time and planning and everything. And so if the vlogs aren't like 100% amazing, that is why these vlogs aren't only for internet. Like this is my 21st birthday. It's really exciting for me. And it's a time for my boyfriend and I. This is the first time that only him and I have gone to Disney World. Um, usually when we do go, we go with his parents and then they have children as obviously they have children, but we usually go with his parents. So this will be our first trip, just us. Um, and we are also celebrating our three year anniversary together. <laughs> three, there we go. Um, so it's just a very exciting and important trip to us. So that's why the videos might not be A plus quality or anything, but we're going to try and I definitely want to vlog it all for you guys and for our memories. Um, I'm really excited. This trip took a lot of pulling together, not last minute, but still. Um, so we will be staying at the Fantasy Villas 2. Um, that is where we'll be staying and I'll make sure to do a room tour and everything. But I also want to show you guys the planning aspect. Planning a trip to Disney World is difficult. It takes a lot of time and a lot of effort. And I know some of you have gone through this, um, especially parents of children you know, when you have little kids. So I wanted to make the planning easier. So I am gonna make a video. Um, this might all be together with the vlogs. I'm not 100% sure yet, <laughs> you know, we're working on it. Um, but right now we have 11 days till we leave for Disney World. Um, so I've videoed through all the planning and everything and I'm gonna share that with you guys. Um, I hope it helps and I hope you love these vlogs. If you've never been to Disney World, I would suggest you go. It's amazing. It is the happiest place on earth. I mean, I have a Disney tattoo. Like, if you're not a Disney fanatic, you might not want to go every year. But I think in the last 24 months, I've been like f four times. Like, it's just exciting. One of them was Disneyland Paris. So I guess it doesn't count. But still, very exciting. Thing I want to show you guys about how we do our Disney planning is how I make our Disney maps. Um, so what I'll do is I will print out a picture from Disney.com of the park maps. Um, and then as you can see, some of them have stars and are labeled more in depth than others. And then on the back, I will put everything we really want to get to, um, what our lunch, dinner, and everything is, um, some facts about the park, and our fast passes. And obviously these will be updated. So usually I start them as just as a basic outline. Um, it'll usually start with what we want to do, the food, and the facts and then the fast passes obviously come later basically those are just our normal and then i obviously just laminate them um those are just our normal maps and of course epcot for this year since it is my 21st birthday is labeled with um all of the different places and all of the drinks um that i have picked out in advance sometimes especially if you have little kids it's easier to look at the menu beforehand and decide this is where we're gonna eat and this is what there is. Or you can look up all the different food on the Disney app. It'll have the restaurants and the menus and it's sometimes easier to just pick out what you're eating and where you're eating so you know what you're doing and you don't get to lunch and you're like, what am I gonna eat? What are my kids gonna like at the park? You already know, it's labeled, it's written down. I understand this is a very extra way of um, doing Disney, but I like to keep everything organized. We've gone since I was basically a baby now, um, so. This is just the way I find everything is easiest for me. Okay, you guys. So the other thing I want to show you guys is how I do our packing list for Disney. Um, so usually they will start as something like this. I will do a general outline of what I want to bring with us and then I will edit it. Um, so right now for this one, 
Everything that's highlighted in yellow is things that are going in hotel bags. So when we're driving down, that'll be in a completely separate bag from our suitcases. That way you don't have to bring the whole suitcase inside and deal with lugging all that around. We're going to Disney for an entire week. Um, so our suitcases are huge. So they usually start by something like this. So as you can see, this one is mine. This one is Hayden's. Um, everything in blue is things that have not been packed yet. Yellow is things that are going in hotel bags. And then I will go back on my printer and update our list to things like this. So this is Hayden's packing list. Um, the things that are in yellow are still things that are going into his hotel bag. Um, and then everything that has a cross through it is something that has already been packed. Um, this is our hotel bag list. So everything Hayden and I will need uh, in our hotel bag is on this list and it's the same thing crossed out. This is obviously my packing list. It obviously has a lot more things than Hayden since I am so OCD about everything. Um, obviously still the yellow highlighted is everything that has not been packed yet. And then this is everything that we haven't packed. So this I do after I make these lists. I write down everything we have not packed yet, things that you use b before you go on your trip that you can't just pack away. Um, I do usually start planning at least two to three weeks in advance, and then I usually start packing at least two weeks in advance. So these were things that I need to do. I need to pick out what sunglasses I was bringing, what um, mini ears I was bringing, and our bag for shoes, because I don't put those in our suitcase. Um, and this is everything we haven't packed yet. So I've obviously gotten a lot more things crossed off. And since right now we are, I think two weeks out, like 12 days or something, this list will get smaller and smaller as it goes on. Okay, so another thing I wanted to show you guys is how I usually pack my makeup for when we go to Disney. So what I'm doing now, obviously in the video, is putting on my foundation. What I like to do is as I put on my makeup, I like to pack it. Um, I do do this beforehand and I just keep the bag in the closet, easily accessible. So as I do my everyday makeup, I can put it directly into the bag as you see here. And then I tend to not overpack as much. I know exactly what I need and how I'm going to use it and everything. So it just makes it easier. You know what you need, what you wear on a daily basis, and you won't forget anything if you do it as you do your routine. So you see, I do my powder. I close it tightly. That's the Do You by Too Faced. And then I put the brush in the bag. And then I'm just using my all over blending brush and then that goes directly in the bag as well. Another thing I wanted to show you guys that we bring an oh shoot bag. This is our oh shoot bag for the Disney parks. It goes in Hayden's backpack and it is everything you could possibly need for a day at Disney World. The only thing that does not fit is my mini wet brush. I got this at Target. It was about $6. That I especially suggest bringing if you have long hair and you don't like to wear ponytails. Um, so the O shoot bag has a lot of different things in it. It is a lot of stuff tucked in one tiny bag. Um, if you have children, especially your O shoot bag might be a little bit bigger. Uh, diapers, wipes, things, other things that will go in here. This is basically just what we bring. You can definitely change it on what you need for your family, your child, etc. The first thing I bring is a tiny bottle of perfume. This is Viva La Juicy by Juicy Couture. Though it might not be the perfume I'm wearing today or the day that I go to Disney. Um, you know, you get sweaty, you get stinky, it's hot, it's Florida, it's summertime. You definitely want some perfume in your bag just to freshen up maybe before dinner or in the middle of the park. The other things I bring are tissues and napkins. Though these are readily available in the park, you never know when you're waiting in line and you're going to need something, you spill something, you make a mess, especially if you have children, always important. The other thing I put in here is a little bottle of hand sanitizer. This is Jamaica Pineapple Colada by Bath & Body Works. Any hand sanitizer works, just, you know, you're in Disney World, there's a lot of people, it's dirty, you want hand sanitizer. I bring a small container, yes, this is from the inside of a Kinder Egg, and I fill it with any medication I might need. So in here, there is Tums, Advil, um, there should be allergy medication, anything you might need during the day. If you get that afternoon headache and you need medication, this is great to bring with you, though they do sell it in the Disney parks and at the medical center and the baby center, which are usually right near each other. Uh, a bottle of sunblock. It is Florida. It is summer. It is hot and the sun is out. You need sunblock. Very important. I bring a makeup wipe. This one is just from a hotel. This is just in case you want to take your makeup off the end of the day at the fireworks. No one cares anymore. That is important. 
These are little mini trash bags, just in case you have any trash and you want to throw it all away easily. I bring those. The other things in our oh shoot bags are ponchos. There are two of these in here, a pink one for me. I think mine is pink and a blue one for Hayden. It's Florida, it rains a lot, and the ones at Disney Parks are like $10. You can get these at Dollar Tree, they're a buck. Bring them with you, you don't need them, you don't need them, perfect. But if you do get caught in that rain, you do not want to be soaking wet for the rest of the day. So that one's Hayden's, yep, that's mine, pink. Uh, I bring a anti-frizz sheet for my hair. These came, I think, in a pack of 20, and they were just little frizz wipes. I use those, you just rub them on your hair, it's super easy. Dental floss, always important. You never know when you get food stuck in your teeth. I always bring dental floss to the Disney parks. A full new pack of gum. Now, gum is not sold at any of the Disney parks because it gets stuck places. You, however, are allowed to bring it in, but please be cautious and just throw it away like a normal person. Don't stick it to something, especially if you have young children. Make sure they also know that rule. Next thing is a mirror. This is just one from Sephora. You get them when you buy gift cards for birthdays. Regular mirror, really important. Checking your makeup, doing everything. I also bring a small bag of makeup to the park. It's not usually very big. And then band-aids. You never know when someone's gonna get hurt. You can get these free at the medical center, but why would you go all the way there when you can just have them in your bag? Blisters especially, and for young children, that is important. And the last couple things I have in here are just some hair ties and some bobby pins. These are important if you have kids or you, you wanna throw your hair up at the end of the day. Just bring some hair ties, always a good thing to have. So that is what I keep in our Oh Shoot bag. Um, I do recommend you carry one of these just to have everything with you. It's not that big, it can go at the bottom of your bag and it's not gonna be a huge hassle and you have basically everything you need. And remember, you can adjust this to your family, what your family needs, medications, etc. It's just easy to have it all with you and I thought I'd show you what we have in ours just so you have an idea, this is what we bring, so yeah. Okay guys, so another great suggestion I have is before you go on your Disney vacation, deleting photos from your phone. I usually only keep 200 maybe photos on my phone of like main events that I like to show people and everything. But other than that, I use the Google Photos app. Um, all you have to do is download the app and then all of your photos will go onto like a Google Drive account. It's amazing. It's easy to get them to your computer. You just log into Google Photos and all your photos will save there. You can put them on auto download as well. And then they'll all be there and you can still look at them on your phone, but they're not taking up any storage space. I really suggest you do this. Clearing out your phone before you go to Disney World is a must. You're taking pictures all the time and you don't want to get to that happy moment where your kid or your girlfriend is hugging Minnie Mouse and guess what? You don't have any storage and you can't take that photo. It is not fun. If you do want um, really great, also that's not sponsored by the way, that's just like my suggestion. I've been using Google Photos forever and I love it, especially when I went to Paris, I would get to the hotel at night, turn on the Wi-Fi, download all the photos in Google app, delete them all from my phone, and then I had room to take photos. It was great. Um, so another thing I suggest is a Disney photo pass. You can get the Disney Photo Pass with your vacation package and all you have to do is tap your magic band on, um, usually a cast member will have like a plaque, you just tap on the plaque and you get your photos. You can do that and not pay for the photos um, and then you, I think you can buy them individually as well. I suggest Disney Photo Pass, especially if you have a big group and you want to keep those memories, those great photos, especially in front of the castle and everything. Like sometimes when you ask someone to take your photo, it's blurry and it's not great. These people are trained professionally to take your photos with your family. And also sometimes they have cool little extras like they'll have you make a silly face and a character will appear in the photo. It's really cool. I would really suggest it, especially if you want to keep those memories. You don't go to Disney often and you have kiddos. Good morning, everybody. It is 10 days till Disney. I am, I'm just so excited. It's gonna be so much fun. I'm so ready to go. I wish we could go tomorrow, but we can't, but we could. Um. Anyways, later today, I am going to show you what we packed and how I decided what we packed and how I decided what goes in our hotel bags versus what goes in our regular suitcase and subge some suggestions I have for you guys on what you should pack in each bag, what you should bring in your carry-on if you are flying. So that will be the next clip and I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, everybody. So this is the basic overview of um, everything we're gonna be bringing to Disney. This is obviously our suitcase. Hayden and I are sharing it since it's one of the 
huge suitcases. Um, this is my side. This is Hayden's side. Basically what I do is I plan out clothes for every single day of what the both of us are going to be wearing. I'll usually do that in my planner. And then as I do that, I'll make the packing list from that. And then some obvious things that you might need that you might forget are sweatshirts because it is cold at Disney World at night. Um, you definitely want to be in those comfortable temperatures. I have a sweatshirt as well. I also have a super thin sweatshirt that I put in our park bag so I can wear that during the fireworks so I don't have to buy a $40 sweatshirt. Um, some other things, a hat, obviously Hayden and I both have a hat. Mine is um, black with Minnie Mouse on it. It's somewhere on my side. Hayden's is obviously the navy blue with the Mickey, some extra sunblock, and a whole thing of swimsuits for the both of us. Another thing I would suggest if you are flying is in your carry-on or the item, your personal item that is closest to you, you pack bathing suits. I have a bathing suit and Hayden has a swimsuit. This is because sometimes if your room isn't ready, the hotel will let you drop off your big bags because you can't go into your room yet. And they will let you change into your swimsuits and go in the pool. Or what also goes in these bags are our oh shoot bag and our Disney bag. This is all our Disney cards, obviously. Our magic bands are attached. Hayden has the oh so Mickey. And I have, I think, the mini bows and dots it's called. They both came out in... um. 2017 I want to say is when both of these magic bands came out and so that way we can get in our hotel room if you're using a Disney hotel or you can get into the park so if you fly in and your park day starts right then have everything you want in this bag so sunglasses your thin sweatshirt all of your clothes and everything just so you if you want to go straight into the park you can do that the other thing we have in here is our shoe bag. So this is all of our itinerary. Our shoes go in the bottom and most of them are wrapped in um, plastic bags. Some of them are not, obviously these flip flops are not. And then the other thing I carry in here is my ears. I don't like to put them in my suitcase or in my hotel bag because they can get kind of crunched up and I don't want that to happen. They're obviously just thrown in here right now. We also have some snacks for the park in here. We have our um, second and third packing list. So as I mentioned, I make three of those packing lists. One for when we're leaving to decide everything and then um one for when we're there and then one for when we're leaving the hotel obviously to make sure we still have everything the other thing i have in here is some birthday presents and then of course a ton of shoes our park maps are in here but these will actually go into that bag later on just so we have them in the park and that's basically everything we're bringing other than the cats another thing that you're definitely going to want to bring that i forgot to mention is going to be a sturdy backpack um, I think this year Hayden's going to bring his backpack and I'm going to bring carrying obviously a purse every day. Um, but you don't want this huge bulky backpack that you have to drag around the park all day. It's not going to be good for you. Hayden has this small, I think it's either over the, over the chest or it's like this small tiny backpack that we bring with us. It fits the O shoot bag, his wallet, and anything else we need. Um, sometimes we do bring the reusable water bottles with us, which are always important. Um, they also sell those super cute lounge fly bags at the Disney parks, they're very cute, but they're extremely expensive. So it really depends on what you wanna do. If you want that to be your souvenir for the trip, it's a great thing to bring. They're always the perfect size. They're easy for, they're not TSA, but the TSA people, the people who check your bags in front of Disney World to look through. And also make sure you're not putting little tiny bags into your bag. So like the oh shoot bag is different. Um, that's the only tiny bag I put in there because they have to open every single bag for your safety. They're making sure you're safe. So if you do have a diaper bag or a stroller bag, they're gonna look through every single pocket of that bag most likely because they wanna keep you and your family safe on your vacation. So just think of that, putting tiny little bags in there. It does maybe save space, but you know, do that on your own caution. 